Welcome into Bengals Breakdown. As promised, a look at the Bengals' 53-man roster cuts and the initial 53-man unit for Cincinnati. We'll go through the cuts and then break down the roster of who's actually there. I'll mention some notable names, including Alan George, this one being reported this morning, Trevor Simeon and Reed Sinnett, both other backup quarterbacks have been released. Michael Thomas, I bet you'll see him on the practice squad. Hakeem Denajai, also released by the organization. There's a chance he gets added somewhere else given the lack of good offensive line play across the NFL. Now, when news happens, like the roster cuts, we have you guys covered. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash bangles TV, for more free videos all season long. Some other cuts. Devin Asiasi, no surprise there. Hopefully, Raymond Johnson gets through the uh, practice to the practice squad. That one's worth monitoring. There's a decent chance he gets clicked. Claim, but more often than not, the guy we're worried about ends up making it. Owen Carney cut. Trent Taylor. Ian Rappaport said that was a surprise. No, it's not. We all knew that one was coming. Drew Chrisman released. No surprise, as Brad Robbins is your punter. Uh, then the rest of them all announced moments ago, position-based here. Both backups, Jacob Sailors and Calvin Taylor, released. Travion Williams makes the initial cut. Malachi Carter, Matt Kippenhammer, and Shed Jackson are released. I would love to see Shed Jackson on the practice squad. The more, maybe most surprising names still to come. But first, if you are excited for NFL Week 1, show it. By liking today's video, I cannot wait for football to be back, and I'm hoping all of you are as well. No surprise, Kwame Lasseter gets released. Stanley Morgan, the wide receiver, special teams ace has been cut. Now, he is a vested veteran, so you could see a scenario in which Morgan is released and then brought back to the organization. He will not go through waivers like these young guys will. He will be a free agent. Uh, you could place somebody on IR, maybe Cody Ford. You went deep at tackle or offense line. That's an option for you. And then re-sign Morgan and not have to worry about losing him. I think that's the answer to the most surprising roster cut this year. Who do you think that it is? Sound off for me at the pinned comment of today's video. If the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and go vote. Some notable other offensive line cuts. Ben Brown, Nate Gilliam, nothing too shocking there. Jackson Kirkland was released. He and Dominique Davis, both prime practice squad candidates for Cincinnati. Shaka Hayward, Keandre Jones, Jalen Moody, and Tyler Murray. The four linebackers, rather obvious releases there. Sidney Jones, Larry Brooks, and Yusuf Corker round out your cuts Two other guys were, were placed on injured reserve. We'll get to those guys here in a little bit as it is now time to break down what I'm sure most of you are more intrigued by, the actual initial 53-man roster. There could be some shuffling still to come for the Cowboys as an organization. Or the Bengals, excuse me, as I saw a Cowboys tweet come across my timeline. For the Bengals as an organization, we will have you guys covered with everything that happens around this team. If there's more news, there are waiver claims set to come tomorrow. Practice squad coming in the near future. This is your one-stop shop. Hit that sub button right now, youtube.com slash Bengals TV. Let's begin where else but the quarterback room. Two players on the team for now, as it is Joe Burrow and Jake Browning. That is it. No surprise. That was the expectation uh, from this perspective. The running back room. It is for Joe Mixon, Chris Evans, Chase Brown, and Travion Williams. We will see when Williams ends up getting healthy, but the Bengals for the time being are carrying four in the backfield. They are carrying just six at wide receiver to start the season. Uh, I will make note that there is the possibility of Stanley Morgan returning from that perspective. But for the time being, it is going to be these six. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Trenton Irwin, Andre Yoshivas, and Charlie Jones. Those six we knew were going to make the team. It was would there be seven or not. Tight end only carries three. And maybe there's some change to come here. Could you get Tanner Hudson to the practice squad? Could you claim somebody off of waivers? Albert Okoye Bunam would have been a great fit, but the Eagles traded for him right at the buzzer there. It's Irv Smith, 
Drew Sample and Mitchell Wilcox would not be opposed to adding one more at this position grouping. So name a player who you want the Cincinnati Bengals to add to their roster. Any position, position player, whatever it is, keep it realistic. Can't say Patrick Mahomes. A, maybe a guy gets cut. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section right now. The Bengals' offensive line depth chart, it is 10 deep, not including Lyell Collins, who, as expected, will begin the year on the physically unable to perform list. He will miss at minimum the first four games. Devin Cochran remains on injured reserve as well. It's Orlando Brown, Cordero Volson, Ted Karras, Alex Kappa, Jonah Williams. Deontay Smith is there. TBD on his shoulder injury could be an IR candidate. Cody Ford makes it, as do both Max Sharping and Trey Hill. And Jackson Carmen gets to stick around as well. There could be some shuffling at this spot, so definitely worth keeping an eye out for. The defensive line. DJ Reader, BJ Hill, no surprise there. Uh, Zachary Carter, J2 Fele, Josh uh, Tuo as well. Uh, Maxwell was already on IR, and uh, Pisifia, I think I got that right, probably didn't. Uh, he is also uh, on injured reserve. He was placed on IR today. That ends their season. If you go on IR before the after the first day, you have to wait a full day on the, on the active roster, your season would be over. Defensive end with, again, the hope that you get Raymond Johnson to the practice squad. Trey Hendrickson, Sam Hubbard, Joseph Asai, Miles Murphy. So 10 deep in total on the offensive line. Five defensive ends and five defensive tackles. Five linebackers as well. Again, nothing too surprising here. Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, Marcus Bailey, Joe Bocci, and Akeem Davis-Gaither round out your off-ball crew. You probably have a good feel for what this Bengals roster is, so scale it for me from 1 to 99. Get those answers in the comment section. Madden style, how would you rate the Bengals roster for 2023? The quarterback room, 10 secondary players in total. It is 6 at corner. Uh, nothing too shocking here. Chidibe Awuzie, Cam Taylor-Britt, Mike Hilton, DJ Turner, DJ Ivy, and Jalen Davis. They did place Marvell Telethird on injured reserve, which I would assume is a move to just stash him for a year. He is also out for the season. And at safety, you knew when Mike Thomas was cut. Again, a prime practice squad candidate was going to be these four. Daxton Hill, Nick Scott, Jordan Battle, and Tyson Anderson. There weren't that many shocking releases this year. Certainly none in the special teams room. Evan McPherson is the kicker, Cal Adamatis is the long snapper, and Brad Robbins is the new punter for your Bengals.